Hi, this is Daniel here. This is the uh, Norman Con Leatherworks 16 inch Soho uh, mailbag in Dublin Brown. It's uh, the leather's made from Horween Leather Company based out of Chicago. And it's this beautiful, beautiful color. Uh, really enjoying it so far. Uh, there's been a great review from Jim Crane, uh, which inspired me to upgrade and change my bag. Uh, so I'm not going to repeat everything he's shared in his review, but I wanted to just point out a few things. I ordered this bag uh, from Etsy. Norman Kahn has a, an Etsy shop. Uh, it takes about 10 weeks, he says, from order, or about 8 to 10 weeks before the bag is uh, shipped to you. Uh, there was some uh, hassles and troubles in the process, so it took Norm a little bit more, uh, about 3 months to get me the bag. Uh, so he threw me in a couple goodies, and I'll share that as well. A couple features of the bag that I love so far is it's just very sleek, beautifully designed, and as Jim pointed out, the bag is perfectly symmetrical. Uh, what I like about it is this uh, quick release latch. I'm doing it one handed as well. And just having about a day's worth of play here, super easy to play with so far. A uh, few things. I think in Jim's review, he said that um, this outer pocket here only fits his uh, six iPhone 6. Uh, I have a 6 Plus, and I found without providing any specs to Norm, it fits perfectly. So he must have changed his uh, manufacturing process or creation process here. So this is a 6 Plus, and it fits just perfectly right in here. On the inside, there's a, you can see it's very open, spacious. There's a spot in here that you can put in an iPad, your books, notes, whatnot. Uh, some pen holders and two side pockets. Go on this side so you can see it a little bit better. There we go. It's a beautiful spot, very thin, light leather over here, leather. Uh, and it holds the pens or other things you have. And of course, the uh, latch on hook for your keys. Perfect example of Norm's uh, business card. Let's see if I'll show you right here. And it fits perfectly in the slot right here. I like how he uses uh, a thinner leather right here, which helps uh, kind of keep the weight down a little bit. It's not incredibly overly thick. Uh, so. The bag itself has beautifully thin uh, and a strong leather. Uh, and I like how these inner pockets are just very light and it's easy to keep things around. And this little strap here holds things out of the way. And so it helps you keep uh, the stuff that you're keeping in the center here. You'll notice that the, uh, the way the bag's constructed is the sewing, all the seams are on the inside of the bag. So from the outside, you have these folded in seams, and so you don't see uh, just that more rugged look. So it's very slick, very uh, modern. The other thing I'll point out is just the, uh, again, all the edges are finished, as Jim mentioned. Uh, beautifully finished edge. What that means is this is not gonna fray. It's uh, compressed in just through the, the burnishing process, and it's applied to treatment. And so the edges don't fray, uh, unlike other bags you have out there. I think I owned a couple sa old Saddleback bags that just over time, it just doesn't age very nicely. So this is gonna age incredibly beautifully. Cool uh, feature here is this back magazine pocket. I wanted to show you, uh, let's see if I pull it out a little bit more. An example, here's the stamp from Horween Leather, Chicago company. So it's authentic Horween Leather. And a cool thing about this uh, Dublin Leather is uh, when you press hard in here from the inside, what it does is it brings the oils to the surface and so it automatically just over time, very quickly without having to wait, um, as you use the bag, it creates kind of its own characteristics, its own personality. Uh, immediately when I got the bag, it was just, um, it was this pristine leather, so it's been kind of polished and. There's a few scratches already as I'm using it. And you'll notice that as the 
that flap is opening and closing, it creates this crease and the wear um, comes in beautifully. So I expect this bag to age and very beautifully. So a couple goodies, uh, because it took so long for Norm to get me in a bag. He was gracious enough to kind of throw in a couple extra goodies. This is the uh, luggage extra strap. So what you do is you put one side here and this goes around your suitcase, like your airport Broly bag, and it holds the bag in. It's a great addition. Probably makes a pretty decent handle, but incredibly strong, very rugged. Um, awesome throw in, uh, something I've always wanted but didn't order initially, so uh, thank you, Norm, for including that in this order. Other goodie that Norm threw in is this uh, travel valet tray. It's actually just a sheet of leather with uh, buttons, and so it folds down flat, right? Just a beautiful piece of leather. And when you form the buttons in, on the side, it creates this beautiful tray, which perfectly holds uh, some of the leather bomb that Norm threw in as well. So the, the bomb will be used uh, for a couple months down the road before I treat it again, probably before winter time. And another surprise goodie that I wasn't aware of was a sunglass or a glasses case that Norm also threw in as well. So again, he creates beautiful pieces of work uh, smells fantastic, and uh, again, an example of finished edges. I uh, sold my Saddleback products uh, just because I, I just couldn't handle um, not having finished edges. Here's an example of unfinished edge, right? So this is untreated, it's just raw cut, and it's, it's left like that. Uh, perfectly fine. What happens is this unfinished edge, I'll show you an example of a, uh, another bag that I've had for a couple months now. Here's an example of an unfinished edge. Um, you'll see that it starts to fray quite a bit. So on the skin side the, over here, um, it holds pretty well. When you get to the suede side, um, it starts to fall apart quite a bit. So because it's not compressed, not finished, um, it'll fray quite a bit. Maybe that's the look you want. But um, for an heirloom bag, for a bag that I'm going to pass down to my son, I definitely wanted something that's going to age beautifully over time. Uh, definitely we'll report back in a couple months to see how things are going. I'll show you how uh, the bag ages in and breaks in, but I wanted to give you an example of uh, less than 24 hours of owning the bag. Uh, Jim also did call out these rivets in his uh, review, and I wanted to point out and compare and contrast between two different types of bags. Um, these rivets are a brass-copper combination, and it is butter smooth. I mean, I, I cannot any scratches by rubbing my hands very strongly in this. So Norm did an incredible job of uh, making these rivets very smooth. Uh, counter example is uh, this other bag I own where it's going for a more uh, rustic look but you can see that the rivets are cut uh, pretty sharply and slightly hammered uh, but left pretty sharp. Uh, perfectly fine, right? It's just if you're going for more of that rustic look but it can be uh, can rub up and cut yeah, a little bit. So, so one last time, give you a quick rundown on the bag. Beautiful quick release latch. I'm liking this design. Just one day in, I'm, I'm able to kind of do this really quickly one handed. Um, so, with a little bit more practice, I'll probably get even better at this. Flip it around to the back, again to the side, the bottom. And the back, magazine rack, finish edges, uh, Dublin leather, so it creates that almost organic look, live feel. And the other thing I want to call out is this shoulder strap is awesome. Uh, looks like there's three, maybe four layers of leather in there, and there's no artificial padding in there. Um, unlike my other bags, this is just pure leather in here, uh, just really thick. And it feels great on the shoulders. Mailbag style, right? So the hooks are over here instead of typically my other bags where they're on the sides. And so what I like about this is it 
doesn't rub up against anywhere. So the shoulder, uh, the actual strap doesn't rub up and start to wear. I'll go back to an example again. In this bag over here, right, this, the hardware rubs up against the leather and it creates a, a wear and stress point. In a mailbag style, um, that's not going to happen. So this will lift up very well. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope to uh, do a report back uh, in a couple months, see how things are going, and show you just the wear on the bag. Thanks.